Okay, this is the only video that you'll ever need to learn how to play chess. Target weak areas, weak pieces, and definitely target the king or the area around the king. The skill is identifying which is a weak area and which are the weak areas around the king. The king itself is self-explanatory because it's right there. So classed as weak I'm going to take this pawn because it's got no protection on it it is a gambit thing they expect you to do that that's okay but in terms of the principles we're working on it's about attacking weak areas such as the diagonal going across here for his castling Attacking a pawn that's unprotected. And the best thing of all is capturing a piece that they don't expect you to capture to improve your position. That's slightly advanced, but because the opponent did the move we can make the move so that was a weak pawn because they're gonna have two pawns he might take it's not gonna take with the queen he might take with the knight so that he's got the two pawns in the center he hasn't done just grab this pawn here because it's got no protection on it at the moment so it's identifying which are weak pieces and which are stronger pieces that's the skill in simple terms that is what we're doing this bishop doesn't have any protection on it so a simple pawn can attack the bishop okay this bishop can now attack the knight and also the queen this knight can attack the knight but it's not really unprotected the knight's not unprotected but it has got a higher piece behind it. I'm going to castle. If the knight takes, then the pawn or smaller piece is on a higher piece. So I doubt that he'll take. So the bishop's just wh whipping away, feeling quite good. The knight does not want to take because the pawn will be on it. And because the pawn will be on the knight, the knight can't move because the bishop will take the queen. So another weak piece that has no support on it is this bishop. So we can push the pawn onto the bishop because it's got the support of the knight. The bishop moves back. We can look to push forward and press onto this bishop because it's weakly supported by a pawn and this is a pawn attacking a higher piece. So the bishop moves because it senses that the smaller piece is going to attack it. This small piece can also attack the bishop here. So it's almost trapping itself. So it may end up sacrificing itself or another piece is going to sacrifice. So we have to be ready for it. They are plus one out of th those exchanges, but positionally on the board, it's looking a little bit tense because we're focused on attacking. Yes, so they come out now scratching. They've moved the queen off of the line of the attack because this threat was too much. Okay, so we do have options. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece is usually better, but now the knight can actually jump freely. So if we did capture the, the bishop first, then his knight would just take. So I'm going to capture the knight first. His queen is on the pawn here. I don't have any problems with that. So I'm going to capture this pawn because it's a higher piece, which is the bishop. We're also attacking another pawn as well. So he's captured. So we'll capture with our queen. Our pawn is still here and he's captured with the knight. Wow. So we'll capture the knight with the pawn 
queen is still chomping to take this yeah it's on our rook we can look to start pushing this pawn up a little bit it, i think it will get taken but we do have pressure on his king if the rook comes to attack it ah he's looking for an exchange okay fair enough he doesn't have to he can take this pawn here no he's chasing that pawn down it's also on our rook let's go here attack an undefended piece with the brook so they've captured so we'll capture this pawn here with the rook undefended as it is so feeling fairly comfortable he's looking to push this past pawn is there something that we can look to entertain nice position here but his queen is currently there his queen is just going to oh, actually it's got the pawn mm -hmm. could bring the rook back looking to attack the pawn seems a bit of a waste because the queen supporting here's a nice diagonal with the queen through to the rook though isn't it I'm going to bring the rook here because if he does push the pawn down then the queen can take the rook because it's unprotected and it has a check on the king and it does push it down so we can take the rook with a check and the king has come down so we can bring our queen here with a check he moves back so the rook can go and put a checkmate it's not going to be checkmate yet but the only thing that can defend it is the queen so they may resign at this point but yeah it looks like they've left the game okay must be struggling with the resign button but anyway so that's the idea behind learning to play chess attack the king area attack the king attack weak pieces and attack weak spaces 